Welcome back. Good afternoon. The problem for the session is classroom queues problem. Asked in um, one of the recent hack within fee <coughs> competitions. A classroom consists of two n number of students. There are there are n boys and and n girls. Okay. You have to select n students to form a queue such that no three boys standing <coughs> consecutively. So find out how many such queues can be formed. Okay. So example, there are two students. The queues that can be formed are BB, boy, 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 girl, girl, boy, and girl, girl. So all the four are possible queues because no three boys are standing together here. So n equal to say three, three boys. So select n. Okay. So b boy boy girl boy girl boy girl boy boy. Boy, girl, 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 boy, girl. How many so far? Any repetitions now? One, two, three, four, five, five, and then uh, girl, girl, boy, six, all girls and all boys. So this is not permitted. Because no three boys should stand consecutively. So how many common, how many queues you get? Seven. So when n equal to two, answer is four. When n equal to three, answer is seven. Okay. Let us write a program to achieve this result. Okay. Read number of read number of uh, boys or girls. There are two n number of students in the class. Boys and girls are equal in strength. So read, read the input. Read the input and convert it to integer. And then create a classroom. C is this is uh, a keyword of Python. Let it be capital C. B stands for boy. Say G stands for G stands for girl. Okay. How many students are there? Two n students are there. So it creates n boys and it creates n boys and n girls. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so in how many different ways a queues can be formed? For that you need permutations from iteration tools. Tools import permutations. Okay. So now, how many groups? How many queues? How many queues we get? Queues is equal to permutations. Permutations. Say class. And the group size is n, okay. And let us convert the list into let us convert the output into a list, okay. Now print, print, print queues, okay. Run it. Save this and then run it. So number of students is two. How many you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A lot of repetitions. Okay. One, two, three, four, four P2. Four P2. Lot of repetitions. Okay. To avoid repetitions, the best way is create, create a dictionary from from items of queues, okay? 
it will create unique keys from the items okay but if you are a dictionary you don't want keys and values you want only keys so make it a make it a list make it a list okay now see what do you get queues is equal to now print print queues so how many students are there there are set two students bg bb gb okay so non repetitive groups are formed absolutely fine okay so let us make it a single string instead of having two strings and permutations gives you the combinations as tuples but then it is good to have them as it is good to have them as lists okay now <clears throat> let us convert let us convert these tuples into lists before doing that let us convert them into strings dot join so each queue for queue in queues okay now print print queues q u e u e s okay so let us have Three boys, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is four p three, and repetitions are removed. Okay, what you not do not want is this. The three boys are standing together. Okay, if there are two boys, the output look like this. There are two boys. The output look like this. Okay, we converted tuples into strings. Okay, so the question of having three boys standing together arises only when number of students are greater than two. If number of number of boys or girls is greater than two, then this question arises. In that case, you handle each queue separately. So for queue in in queues okay for queue in queues in each queue how many elements are there n elements are there okay if you have three boys together in a queue okay then you should not consider that queue okay let us see in how many queues three boys are standing together we store all the such queues in output in output okay now if there are consider a case where you have a girl followed by a boy followed by a boy followed by a boy this is 0 1 2 3 okay so you compare what you compare group 0 with group 1 and group 2 if all are same then you take this okay if they are not then you may compare g1 with g2 with g3 okay if all are same you take it so the highest value of i 1 what is the group size n okay for the highest value of i 1 so i should be i should be less than n minus 2 okay i should not exceed this hope you understand it okay i am going to do that hmm? same for i in range for i in range n minus 2 if if i the character of the group is equal to is equal to i plus 1th character is equal to i plus 2 character 
which is equal to boy then then you take that q you take that q okay and it to output okay there may be repetitions in that case what you should do is if this q not in not in output then then append that q to output okay so let us print let us print both queues and output and both queues and output okay so how many students let us take three students three students okay so only one case where all the three students are together okay so how many groups you have eight minus one seven so how do you do that how do you do that hmm? print print length of queues minus length of length of output okay so let us check one more case print queues and print should not have deleted print out okay take number of queues as zero sorry number of queues as two and number of students as two okay so the, in no queue all the three boys are standing together so how many combinations you get four okay now let us take four students four students okay so in three queues we have three boys standing together okay with no girl between them how many are there 1 minus 3 13 okay so hope you understand it oh thanks for watching hope you understand this please subscribe to get automatic updates thank you very much